Right. The term stranger danger. Have, have you used it? Yes. But Eric's I know. Been used. I know. I just. I mean, who hasn't used no, it? No, no, yeah. no. No, that's true. I just didn't know if anybody oh. used it towards you. <laughs> Are you the stranger? Today? No, <laughs> not today. Okay. Um, because uh, for so long, teachers, parents, and police, they've used this phrase, that phrase, stranger danger, to warn kids about the threat strangers pose to their safety. But many organizations, they're moving away from this phrase because statistics are showing that kids are far more, far more likely to be abused or kidnapped by someone they actually know. Plus, not all strangers are back, right? And can actually help in an emergency. So child advocate uh, Patty Fitzgerald of Safely Ever After coined a new phrase a few years ago that's really catching on these days. She, she suggests replacing stranger danger with something called tricky people. The phrase refers to people who can appear friendly and then trick kids into trusting them. Now, there are some, uh, here are some of our tips for parents. Tell your child that a tricky person can be someone you know very well, or just well in general, or don't know at all, or know just a little bit, like your mail carrier or the ice cream man. Remind your children that safe grown-ups don't ask kids for help. If they need help, they'll ask another adult. And listen to your child. If they don't want to be around a particular person, such as a babysitter, a relative, or a family friend, do not force them. They may be getting a red flag signal uh, that you are unaware of. So for some of these tips or any more information about it, text the keyword SAFE, 206-448-4545. Mm -hmm. It's an, I, I never heard this term before until just now, people. but I guess it's been going on for a while. I, yeah. I love some of the tips. Mm -hmm. I mean, listening to your child, absolutely. And then the part that safe adults don't ask kids for help. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was, that's a huge one. Yeah. And I think another one is, sure. I think safe adults, when you say no, they respect it. Oh yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A safe adult, when you say no, respects it. And that would probably maybe fall into maybe a little bit older of a kid, perhaps, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's important to know. Ultimately, that. I think the, the rebranding of the stranger danger is important too, because it, mm -hmm. it does point out that uh, not all strangers pose danger and mm -hmm. you're surrounded by strangers in most of your life. Mm -hmm. So I think that is an important uh, idea to talk about that and to maybe change that because uh, you're going to encounter them. Uh, you certainly don't want to raise kids to be antisocial because they're growing up thinking that everybody's a stranger and that's a danger yeah. and I should stay away. Yeah. But I think it does go along with the teaching of even saying, okay, I won't make my girls or my boys hug someone mm -hmm. or kiss someone. We talked about you that know, as you, well. If you yeah. don't want to do that, you can give them a fist bump or mm -hmm. nothing at all, you know, mm -hmm. or say I don't want to do it. I think that's a really good lesson because I know when I was a kid, it was always like, don't you want to hug oh, your sure. uncle? You know, yeah, I'd go say, on over, okay. give him a kiss on the lips. You yeah. Know, really? Yeah. Yeah. And then the so hard thing good. is the, the counterpart of that, when you have a kid that is like so loving and so giving and will just run up to anybody and give him a hug. Right. I'm like, oh, now I got to, you know, I love that you're doing that because it's great. It shows you have so much love in your heart, but you just got to be a little careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. is a tough one. Anyway.